start the recording again. And we're, we're going to go back to our model. And we're going to put in a process that gives rise to data that will come out of our model. So we have models that are depicting some evolving underlying situations, some underlying um, uh, evolving state of the world, the health status of the population. And we're going to put in place some mechanisms that give rise to data that we could then compare against data from the world, comparable data from the world. I will, by the way, say, I know at least one person in this room, maybe maybe more than one, well, beyond the DAs. Um, uh, I think John, John Wang Jing is from engineering background. And in engineering and STEM, we're typically dealing with some conceptual models of the underlying system. We're dealing with how beams bend and we're dealing with how circuits work and we're dealing with the underlying mechanical systems in the world. Um, same thing with science. If we're if we're working in biology or working in chemistry, a lot of it is discovery, right? You're you're trying to understand the underlying rules that govern chemical evolution or what have you. And so for STEM students, I find they understand this perspective of modeling a little bit more intuitively uh, from the get-go because it relates not only to some of the methods, but also to some of the philosophical kind of commitments of their disciplines. For, for others from more statistical background, it takes a, a bit of getting used to. Um, okay, so we're gonna put into place uh, some, uh, uh, some mechanisms for data collection, great. Here we go, back to our models, back to the salt mines, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so here we have our model version five, and I'm gonna preemptively save it to version six. Hey, come on, get back there. Version six, there we go. Okay. Um, okay, great. So right now we have a lot going on, but we don't have any real statistics. I would like to get some statistics out of this model and get some graphs. Maybe even get, Wade knows where I'm going with this, get some pie charts and stuff like that. Okay, so let's put in place some statistics on this model. Let's get it to report to us some numbers about what's actually happened. Are we ready for this? Are we ready? Okay, there are no objections. Let's, let's, let's go forward, okay? Great, thank you. Um, okay. So here we have this model. Let's first get in place a mechanism to report. What do you think? Should we, should we do heart, the number of uh, those with heart disease uh, first, or do you want to report the number of never smokers, current smokers, and former smokers first? Which, what would be your preference? Heart disease first. Um, a healthy heart. OK, very good. So I'll teach you how to do this here. Um, and let's keep in mind that we're creating summary measures of the state of the population. These numbers will not be the full situation, but they'll be reporting on the state of that system. Here we go, in Maine, go to population. We ready here? Go to the statistics area, aha, an area we have yet to explore. Parts quicken and, and uh, uh, expectations are aroused, arisen. Okay, so in the statistics area, we're going to use the plus, okay? We're going to add a statistic, okay? Um, um, and we're going to make this statistic called. Um, uh, 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 prevalent uh, uh, prevalent cases of heart disease. Well, maybe maybe I'll call it um, count uh, heart disease uh, 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 count. Um, uh, what should I what should I call this? Um, cases implies diagnosis often, so I'm trying to find a, a neutral term for that. Um, um, 
uh, count um, uh, persons with heart disease. How's that? Okay, I know it's it's wordy. I apologize, um, and I I uh, apologize for my failure. Okay, um, there we go. Um, so I'd like you to um, go and uh, put, so what do you think this will be? Do you think this count persons with heart disease will be a max, a min, an average, a sum, or a count? Anyone want to hazard a guess? A count, indeed. Okay, so um, we're going to have to count the people in the population with heart disease. So first of all, where do those people live in the model? They live in the population. That's what we're, we're, we're setting the statistics for. So this is a statistics on this population. And the way in which we're going to do it is we're, we have to ask each person, hey, do you have heart disease? So you notice there's a little light bulb here. This light bulb gives us a hint, as it often does. Here it says, use item, agent of the population. So I'm going to say item dot. And I'm going to say, is state active? Okay. Um, uh, is, uh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, mumble. Um, give me just a second. I thought it was, is state active, but wait. Um, Do you say in state? In state. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Uh, in state, and we're going to have to ask them if they're in a certain state. What state would it be? What state would we be asking them if they're in? Anyone? Yes. Heart disease. Good. Good. Um, so we're going to ask them if they're in the heart disease state. But there's a there's a catch here because we're doing this in Maine in, in a population. We might have in this model uh, dogs. For example, as well, service dogs, and some of them might have heart disease. I know, I know that may seem odd. I actually know someone who studies heart disease in dogs, um, uh, Lynn Weber, over in um, that med. And any logic is dumb. It doesn't know that you mean heart disease per person here. The model could have all sorts of things. It could have, you know. Um, uh, it could have representation of positions, et cetera. And so we need to be clear about whose heart disease we're talking about. It's person dot heart disease is what we're talking about. Heart disease in the person, okay? It's, it's heart disease for people. We didn't need that before when we were inside person. That was sort of the heart disease that it, it assumes, okay, you mean heart disease for me. But here we do. We're on the name, and, and we need to we need to tell. So I don't got in the same person not heart disease. Can one of the TAs put it? So I'm going to ask you a question. Riddle me this: Do we need a semicolon here? The answer is no. No, we don't, because all it's doing is computing a value. Remember, semicolons are used for what? Do it. Do it. Do this, command, make this happen. This isn't doing that. We're not saying like change this. All we're saying is compute this value. Hmm? It's like what you do in Excel, right? You said like this cell is that one plus that one. You don't, you don't need a semicolon here, okay? No semicolons. Um, okay, um, thank you, Wade. Uh, okay, so I'd like it built and make sure this works. Count persons with heart disease. You see that? Okay, can we run it? Can, cannot. Okay, can. Um, okay, we're gonna run it. And we're gonna see by virtue of being there, here we go. If we click on the population, we'll actually see the count of persons with heart disease is 22, 24, 30. Do you see that? Do you see that? See or not? Could someone rescue the oranges before they're thrown out? One of the TAs, please. The 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 the, the folks are here. If you could grab the oranges before they're <laughs> sorry, folks. I have I have many different things that I have to keep track of. Um, um. 
it's easy oriented. Thank you, Manius, the hero of the day. Um, so, uh, <laughs> thank you, rescued in the nick of time. Okay, um, so here we have a, a ton of persons with heart disease. Do you see that? Okay, so next, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so let's put, let's create a graph. Can we create a graph of this? What do you think? Who's opposed to creating a graph? No one? Okay, so let's go create a graph of it because it's kind of painful to have to go click there. So go to main, go down main, and, and we're going to put the graph up top. Um, and to put a graph in, we're going to go to palette, and we're going to go down to this analysis. Okay, it's it's like three under agent, and it looks like some distributions, a cumulative distribution, and probably a mass function there. Do you see that? See or not? See. Okay. Um, and then we're going to drag in a time plot. Time plot from here. Hmm? Okay. There we go. And this is going to be called. Um, it's going to be called um, uh, uh, prevalence time plot. But we're going to be reporting counts as they are right now. Yeah, TIs be be stirred. Remember that orange is a weight for you with with <laughs> good performance. Okay, great. Um, so uh, here's your time plot, and uh, we've we've added it from this place here, and and we called it prevalence time plot, and we're going to plot out a value. What value are we going to plot out? We're going to plot out the count of people with heart disease, and how do we determine that? We say population dot count heart persons with heart disease. And the title will be, say, persons with uh, heart disease. Thank you, sirs. Thank you very much with heart disease. Do you see that? How did I do this? What happened? First of all, I went to, to this. I went to statistics, and I added the statistic. And then I went to the palette, and I went down to this place here in the palette. Oh, sorry. Sorry, folks, uh, online. Let me get the, the, the little uh, thing over here. I went over here in the palette, and I dragged this time plot up to here. And in the time plot, I called it prevalence time plot. And I put for its value population.com person with heart disease. What is this thing? that I'm doing here. Can anyone say? What am I doing here? I am, what is this thing count persons with heart disease? Who created that? Who, who created that? <laughs> you did. Well, <laughs> you folks did too, right? Each one of us did that. Did we not? Did. And, and what we're doing is we're calling that. Or, getting that information from it. We're saying, hey, population, give me your count of people with heart disease. And this is the statistic we created, that count. And we're going to plot it. Are we okay with this? Okay, shall we run it? But first build. Build early, build often. Okay? Okay, sorry. Um, here we go. Okay, great. Okay, so there we go. We're going to build. Okay, uh, there we go. And we're going to run this model. And, and here it is, graphing out the counter persons with heart disease. Do you see that up top there? Mm. Good. Now, how if we had a line? What if we had, ladies and gentlemen, what if we had, what else could we plot here in terms of heart disease? We could plot the number of people with heart disease who are smokers 
versus number of people with heart disease who are never smokers versus those who are former smokers, right? Should we do that? Sure. Short or not? Sure. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Um, any questions from online, though? So the kind of people with heart disease. Okay, let's try to figure out who these folks with heart disease are. Can we do this? Okay, let's do it. Okay, if we wanted to count the set of people who have heart disease who are current smokers, where could we put that? Where could we put it? We could put it in the, how do we compute the number of people with heart disease? The count, where do we put that? Anyone remember where that lived in the model? It lived in, It lived where? Where did the count of people with heart disease live? It lived in the, begins with P. Person. Pup, 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 pup. I sound like Papageno. Um, pup, um, population, right? Yeah, right? Um, it's in the population, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, so, we're going to put those other statistics there. We're going to compute those as statistics in the population. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Here we go. Um, so going to the population and statistics, we're just going to add three more. Heart disease. Uh, so count persons with, with count of... Uh, Never smokers with heart disease. Here we go. Count never smokers with heart disease, right? Um, and this will be a, a count. Um, uh, and and uh, we're going to count out the number that that are both uh, never smokers and of heart disease. How would we do that? Well. First of all, they have to have heart disease. So we know it needs some criteria like this, but they also need to be what? They need to be, they not only need to have, to qualify for this, to be counted. We're gonna count at each person in turn. We're gonna take item. Hey, item, do you have heart disease? Yes. And what else do we have to ask item if they're, they're to be counted as a never smoker with heart disease? We have to ask them if they're a what? Never a smoker. Good, good, good. Item dot in state person dot. Guess what? You said it earlier. Never a smoker. That's right. All we're doing is we're asking them if they're in this state here. So we first say, are they in this state and this state? And we have to say, are they in both? Are they in this one and this other one? And the way in which we do that is we put this double, this is a logical amp. This will return true or false. This will return true or false. And this will take their and. If this is true and this is true, both will be true and we'll count them. But if this is false or this is false, or for that matter, both is false, we won't count them. So they're only going to be counted if both of these are true, this one is true, and that's what that means, this one is true. This is a logical and. Are we okay with that? Wait, the crowd does not go wild, but neither is it revolting. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, how are we going to do count never smokers? How are we going to do count current smokers with heart disease? What do you think we would do there? Does anyone want to proper a guess? Okay, so Sab, yeah, uh huh. Population that count person with heart disease. Yes. And double person. Yep. Person with Current smoker. Current smoker. That's right. Exactly. You got it exactly. And how about the final one? Anyone else? How about how about count former smoker with heart disease? What would that be? What do you think that will be? 
What what will be the formula for that? What will be the way in which we determine, hey, is this person going to be counted? It's only they'll only be counted if this thing is true. So what does this need to say? I thought I saw Asha uh, say it earlier. What what does this have to be? This has to be what? What does this have to be if we're counting former smokers? Yeah, Sab knows. Could someone else? Uh, how about one of the other participants? You want to stretch and tell me if we want to count former smokers? What does this have to be? Former, former, good, good, yes. Okay, success is upon us. Glory is upon us. Greatness is upon us. Okay, we've succeeded. We've added these three things, and I didn't add them. You added. I mean, you you gave me what to type. Good job. Okay, that's great. Okay, so let's run it. Make sure it builds and it's a happy camper. And if it's not a happy camper then the TAs will be happy campers to help you. Okay? Okay. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna start running it. And up top, we're gonna to see persons with heart disease. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Oh, but we didn't, uh, oh, sorry. What? Are, why aren't they showing here? Why? Why isn't it showing those other lines? Because we haven't added them to the what? We haven't added them to the graph yet. We added them as statistics, but we haven't added them to the graph. So now we got to go go through time to make the donuts and add them to the and add them to the graph. There we go. Okay. Well, okay. Um so we're going to add those three to the graph. 1 2 3. There we go. So the first will be never smokers with heart disease. The next will be, I'm, I'm just doing this artfully, current smokers with heart disease. The next will be former smokers. Fantastic. Awesome. That's great. Former smokers with heart disease. Do you see that? And what will the formula be? What will the value be that we'll be plotting out? What will the count be? What will this count be? Anyone? What, what is this one? Well, if you've forgotten the name, remember that autocomplete is your friend. So what do you think I would do? I'd type here and I'd say, hey, what, what is the thing in population? Aha, uh -huh, look, it's count never smokers with heart disease. Boom. Do you see that? And do the same thing here. Population dot... Count, 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 current smokers with heart. Do you see that? See or not? See. Okay. And now former smokers. Population dot count former smokers with heart disease. Ladies and gentlemen, bang, bang, bang. You gave it to me. And Bob's your uncle. Done. Okay, make sure it builds. What I, I want to be, I want to make sure we're all on the same page. I want to make sure, just as a sanity check, that people are picking this up. How does it know what? How does it know how to compute the count of former smokers with heart disease? How does it know where? Where? Where is this thing? Who created this thing? Yeah, or you did. Um, and where does it live? Yeah, we all did. And where does it live? In the population. In the population. It was the statistic. Remember that? We first added the statistics for each of these. Remember that? One after the other. Sal gave them to uh, the, the key one, and then we, we adapted it successfully. And now we're just in the graph, the time plot. We're just plotting them out. Are we okay with this? Okay. And... I'm not, I'm not seeing, again, um, you know, just, uh, oh, so, so something is, oh, look at that. It's unhappy. It's unhappy. Look at this. Oh, this is a great learning opportunity. It's unhappy. 
Look at this. It says I built and it says item expression. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna I'm gonna learn you something. I'm gonna learn you how to how to fix problems in any library. It's a good learn lesson. Okay. Um so I built and this is what it gave me. And notice it's using a problems window, something that I spared you thus far, but perhaps you have not spared yourselves. Um so there's a problems window. If we go to the problems window, it's trying to tell us there's a problem. It tells us where it is, it's in the time plot, and it tells us what it's confused about. It's confused about some item thing. I thought, why is, why is it something item in there? Okay, so item expression. Okay, let's go double click there. And it's gonna bring us to, in theory, it's gonna bring us to that point. And there it is, look. It's missing right there. So this should have been count. What is this one? What is this missing one? You notice that it's a little X and it says field should not be empty. That's a sign it's confused, this little X. So this should be count former smokers with heart disease. Are we okay with that? Okay, now build, make sure it builds. Okay, and now, now it's a happy camper. Okay, so now now try to run it. Okay, who needs TA help? The TA is stalwart, vigilant, deployed. Okay, here we go. Okay, um, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. So here we have graphs of the number of people of different sorts with heart disease. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, can you tell me who constitutes the majority of, um, of uh, the cases of heart disease? Here. Is it never smokers, current smokers, or former smokers? So this is the overall number. I'll, I'll show you a trick. This, if you if you mouse over these, it'll show you, okay, this is persons with heart disease overall. This is never smokers. Is that the majority of this? No. Here's current. Current is the majority. Current is the majority of cases of heart disease. And now we have former smokers. These are summaries of the model state, ladies and gentlemen. They're not the model state. They're not the situation, but they are whispers of the underlying situation. They, they whisper to us about the underlying situation. What I'm telling us here is the majority of them are current smokers, and a runner up to that is former smokers. You see that? And they're kind of alternating a little bit with each other. You see them kind of. When one goes up, the other tends to go down. Why, why might that be? Because a lot of former smokers do what? They relapse and they become current smokers. And then current smokers quit and become former smokers. And so there's kind of an interplay here where at any given time, a current smoker is at higher risk. But if they're going back and forth, you know, there's a lot of the former smokers have accrued a lot of risk by their time as current smokers. So they're 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 rising in parallel with the current smoker rate, but the current smoker rate, you know, is is larger. Now we could calculate the fraction of each that are that are that, but I think we'll stop for a break now. Okay, so let's stop for uh, the food is out there. Let's stop for a ten minute break. We can take a bit of a break here, and uh, then we'll reconvene. And I'm eager to get going on the projects here. Where Tom passes. We'll be at two thirty, and we got a break pretty soon for the um, for the projects. But let's reconvene in ten minutes. Thank you.
Okay. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Tempest Future. Time rushes onwards. Um, and we uh, have a commitment to explore incubator projects uh, this afternoon. And I want to make sure sufficient time is allotted to ensure some good progress on that. So we have time for a very modest set of additional components up to today's um, lecture. Um, I'm trying to triage, therefore, in what we cover over the next little bit. Um, and uh, I'm gonna start, uh, oh, 